<laughs> hello, 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 hello. Am I live? Um, I don't think so. I pressed go live. Ah, uh, I would be open the app. What is my phone on? I swear, like most days, it doesn't even tell me when I'm live. Uh, okay, I'm live. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's there's a thing on a Pokemon Go today. If any of you are fans of the game, um, you can basically catch every Pokemon from Gen One, like easily. Just saying, if you want to go there, go on, have fun. I already have done it today. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pokemon and Pokemon Go. I actually really like Pokemon Go. It's quite a fun game. Oh, I should have an Easter egg downstairs. <laughs> That's what I remember, is that I have an Easter egg downstairs. I forgot to have it. My parents, because we're in lockdown, uh, resorted to buying me, like, three Easter eggs for my birthday, which I'm very happy about. Well, like, no, no, like, like, for junk on my birthday. They also bought me, like, presents and stuff. It was nice. It was nice. I got a PC. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my, um... I'm still waiting on the tower, but that's it. I'm only waiting on the tower, and it's being a pain. I had to, I had to cancel the order and then order it again. And as we, and as we all know, that's just fun. Hello, cool. Nice to meet you. It seems to be working today. How you doing, cool, anyway? Seems to be working today, which is good. Secret final boss? And yes, a secret final boss. Fair play, cool. <laughs> yeah, so if you come here with his skull in your inventory... <laughs> I haven't checked it out yet. Or you okay watch anymore. I was busy yesterday with birthday stuff. And everybody, here we meet. I thought it was going to stand there. Come on. Yeah, I mean, that is a bit their fault. We need Lawrence, the first vicar. You might, you might say this design is somewhat familiar, because, um, back at the very beginning of the game, we fought a boss called, um, Cleric Beast. Which is, like, a non-fire version of this boss. Basically. I'm gonna be quiet, main uh, a bit more than usual during this battle, just because it is quite a hard boss. Ooh. 
Oh, he like, he like nabbed the back of my cape. There's, there is actually a mid-phase change in this battle, which is quite cool. I like his change, but at the same time, it's actually just funny. It's, it's not hard, it's just funny. It's not exactly middle of the battle, by the way, it's like a bit on. Ah, there you go, that, it just happened. Yeah, he basically loses his bottom half and starts spewing lava all over the place. There's basically lava wherever he moves now, like coming out of his waist. This is like a harder phase, definitely, I'd say. Though, of course, he does get a whole new move set, so that's also a problem to deal with. There you go. Okay. The dear god. What is a vicar? Is this some funny about really childish? You can say that. I don't mind at all. Um. What's a vicar? Uh, a vicar is like a person in a church. A vicar's, I think, like a priest. I'm not 100 percent sure of that. Don't quote me on that. But it's like it's somewhat like a priest. I think. I think. I'm also not 100% sure, so take it with a grain of salt. I have a, it was basically a deer god, technically. Yeah, but okay, uh, the beast's embrace thing that he gave us. Okay, first, cause parasite. We'll talk about that, since we got that yesterday for beating um, Orphan of Cause. If you... Uh, Vicar, I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that again. If you don't have, uh, let me take that off because that's also a spoiler. If you don't have any, if okay, if you don't have the thing I was talking about the other day equipped, the HP Lovecraft rune, you'll only like chop as if you have nothing equipped, okay? But if you put on the milkweed rune, you can do this. Your body sort of gets like as if it's controlled by the cause parasite. It's more fluid and like weird. Like, see the back step and the roll is a bit more floaty. Yeah, you can split it as well into its changed form. You now look like this. It's basically just like a more violent form of this. Oh, wait, if you. If you press R2. Wait, no. If you press L2. Yeah. You can do a star explosion around you. It's like a. It's, it's, it's like an AoE attack. It's actually really cool. I like this weapon. This is like one of the better arcane weapons in the game. Yeah, it, um, it's an A in arcane. It skills completely with arcane. You basically lost your bones. Yeah, basically. You're basically a great one. Ish. And now the beast's embrace. The milkweed rune and the beast's embrace are the only two transformation charms out there. This one. Look at your face, it turns you into a beast. And, if you have the Beast Claw equipped, you get a new moveset with that. So if I change it, my hand becomes a Beast Claw. And you basically, you could fight as if you're one of those like beasts in Old Yarnum. If you press L, L2, you get a free non-bullet using version of this item. This item usually uses bullets. Where is it? This one. It can knock enemies off edges. It's pretty cool. It's good. It's handy for some strategy if you know how to use it. I'll say that. But yeah, they're both really cool uh, transformations. Yeah, they're definitely worth checking out. I want to do a 
play true with both of them, actually, the Cause Parasite and the Beast Claw, because I've never, like... I like the Cthulhu one, but not the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like them differently just because they're so different. I know what you mean. Yeah, I want to do a playthrough of both of them because they're both really cool. Okay, that's because Parasite up anyway. The Beast is Epic and the Cthulhu is just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cthulhu one's cool in a weird way and the Beast one's cool in a cool way. So, you know what I mean. I walk a lonely road. The only road that I have ever known. Like me, I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Actually, you are very cool. Your name is literally cool. Uh, how is that not cool? Uh, and technically it can also be physically cool because like Cthulhu is like in water and deeper you go the cooler water becomes. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way you linked those up together. I love that. Uh, yeah, but okay. The Cos Parasite is a very specific weapon. You have to know how to use it to properly use it. And I'm going to be 1 million percent honest, I'm not good at it. Don't expect me to be really good at it immediately. I'm not going to be. I'm probably going to be garbage at it at first, but like, I'll get used to it. I, I've just never like used it as an actual weapon before. I've just used it to mess around with. What's next? Okay, I have to do... I have to do the sharks in the well to get another weapon. Um, I have to do, and I, and I have to get that cell key that I was looking for last episode. Oh, actually, guys, because we have, uh, fun for you to go try and put quotes on, and they put quotes on the fight broken presence. I'm not fighting broken presence with, uh, Cos Parasite. That's just death for me. I'm, I'm bad with Cos Parasite. I'm not fighting the final boss with that. <laughs> Where's my stuff? There's my stuff. Thank you. Inhale. Okay, and you... I mean, like, I would, but, like, not not this one. Let me get used to the weapon first, and then I will. Actually, since we have over 60 uh, inside, we can actually buy another Blood Rock. So that's... So I have attained... One in here. One bolt. One of these. I have attained four Blood Rocks in this playthrough. That is mental. <laughs> what the hell? I've never had four in one save. What? No, I don't. Five, actually. I got five. Try running around in a museum of textures. Yeah. Yeah, I can, actually. Yeah, I could try that, actually. That, that sounds like a plan. Uh, let me go research roll. I, looked, I, had to, I had to look up where the cell key was because I couldn't remember. It's, it's in the research hall. I know that. I thought it was around there because I knew you got it after the prison, but I wasn't sure how far after. I usually have the same water for streaming constantly. For some reason it tastes different today. I don't like it. <laughs> Expect me to take less drinks. I go down have a hydrate point goal thing, whatever it is. Ugh. Yeah, it tastes weird today. What the hell? Mmm. Eh, whatever. Let's go. Actually, look, I'll show you the thing in action, actually, while I'm here. Yeah, so that's that, and then the star explosion thing I was saying about is that it does like it hits about three or four times per 
time you use it. So that's what makes it good. Yeah, that's that. Oh, um, it also has 600 durability. It has the highest, uh, it's called Nightmare Presence. I mean, that makes sense. It is a twisted, malformed version of, uh, Moon Presence, so broken, uh... Wait, what's wrong? What are you saying that to? Six, oh yeah, 600. It has 600 durability. Whereas the Tenetris that I'm using now has 100 durability. It is mental. Like, legitimately insane. Do-do-do-do-do. This? No, shit. Damn it, I think I thought it was on this floor. No, leave me alone. What's that thing I was talking about? It's probably that. Oh wait, this just brings you to that. What the hell? How did I never notice this? Is this? Oh, that's a lock shield? Okay, um, okay, time to explain this. Uh, there's two shields in the game. The wooden shield and a lock shield. Neither of them are, like, really good, but, like, because this isn't really a game where you shield attacks. It's more like you take the attacks and you deal back the damage. You don't really shield because, like, <laughs> you know, they're not that good. Yeah, they're not good in this game. You don't. You, we don't use shields in this game. Yeah, so I'm just explaining that while that, because some of you might have been like, why don't you ever use a shield, etc, etc. Uh, wait. Amygdala is a bot. Did you not see? Okay. Uh, cool. We've, uh, we fought one in the story mode. Uh, we fought one in the story mode, cool, and we'll be fighting another one once we do the chalices again. Because that's actually a boss coming up in the chalices, is, uh, is an amygdala. Yeah, laboratory floor four. It's on the third floor, I know that. Want the glyph? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I can't see you as a friend. You're not online. What do you mean? On Twitch? Am I on Twitch? <laughs> Am I not online on Twitch? Because I'm like 90% sure that I am. Now, I could be mistaken. But I'm like 90% sure that I'm online on Twitch. <laughs> That's really weird. Okay. Laboratory floor tree. Yeah. <laughs> Just scroll down. That's weird, man. Do 
could be the opposite side, but like that's what I thought it was a while ago, but like it, it wasn't. Uh Yeah, good thing Wisp was our thing. Oh shit. Well, there we go. That's why you look before you leap. Good to know. I'm probably not going to use that, but yeah, in case I want to have a very big challenge. I think I'm already fighting a Nightmare Amygdala. In the next, uh, wait no, that's a Cursed and Defiled Amygdala, sorry, not Nightmare Amygdala. Yeah, so in the dungeon I'm doing, when we do Chalice Dungeons again, it's a Cursed and Defiled Amygdala. Fun names, fun names, I swear. Uh, wait, cool, do you have Bloodborne? I don't know if you have it or not, I'm actually curious. Nope, no, oh, damn, okay. I recommend it, obviously. I'm streaming it. Um, yeah, like, I, re I recommend it if you're looking for a game and you don't know what to pick. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a fun game. I hope, I hope my stream has told you that it's a fun game. Because I like to think I'm, I'm doing the game justice. But it could also be ruining it, so, you know. Found it. Teleport. <laughs> and double. Just type in chat because I can't see chat if whispers are coming up. It's weird. Because, like, the whisper notification covers the chat. <laughs> I'm sleepy today, man. Okay, so I found the... key that I needed. Sorry. No, don't. No, like, don't say sorry. I'm just saying. Just in general, it's... Kind of prototype dungeons. Oh, God, that sounds like hell. Sounds like hell. Okay. So, since I found that key, I can now go down and do the second last thing I wanted to do in the DLC. That's odd. Okay. I might check it out. I don't know. Depends what I want to do. Open this one. In here, there is nothing, I don't think. Holy shit. Holy shit. I my Oh my god, my heart just nearly jumped out of my chest. Oh yeah, this guy. Look at that weapon. We actually get that weapon once we kill this guy. So, I hope you enjoy pickaxes. It's not a pickaxe. Okay, everyone. We got the church pick weapon. It's, yeah, it's a cool, it's, it's like another scythe. Uh, this is sort of like a spear-ish. It's like a stubby spear. And then if you change it, it's like a mini scythe. Though, though less curved and more... big. It's like if he like sh s pulled off the top of a spear and just stuck it onto a stick. Yeah, it's, it's actually good for uh, crowd control because it has a good swing on it. 
Because, like, this dra this drags them into the center and then that attack, like, hits them all, which is pretty cool. I like the weapon. It's cool. I've never, like, used it fully. I've just messed around with it. By the way, I've, like, messed around with all of these weapons. And still, I have to say, I love the Burial Blade. It's such a finesse, like, weapon. Like, you, you, like, you look so precise when using it. You're like, wow, you twirl it around your back. It's cool. Just how fancy it looks when you use it is what makes me like it. <laughs> Uh, any other cells? This cell. Which has a frenzied cold blood nine in it. Ah, and then there's this cell. Which has this guy in it who keeps freaking talking to us the entire time. Wow. Yeah, you kill him. And you get... The Yamamura Hunter set. Now, there's a... There's a lot. There's a lot of... Uh, I didn't mean to sit down there. There's a lot of sort of lore behind this set. Uh, one of the biggest things is... um. I want to find like all of the stuff for it. It's like old Hunter armbands. Then it was another weird named trousers. Yeah, like, why in the heck? Uh, a load of people's theories is that this is a, a lot of, sorry, a lot of games made by Squaresoft, was it? I think so. Have like little hints to the previous game, to the next game in them. Uh, I think there was a hint to Bloodborne in Dark Souls 2, if I'm correct. And people are think uh, people think that this is a reference to uh, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. Yeah, a lot of people are thinking that this is a reference to Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. Uh, Playframe uh, YouTube series goes into it quite heavily. Actually, I like their series. That's nice, fun to watch. I definitely recommend checking out. They did a co-op Bloodborne series. Doing a co-op Bloodborne say is very hard in this game because it's so hard to do like consistent co-op So fair play to them like honestly I'm wanting to do more co-op stuff because co-op stuff is so fun, but like you know <laughs> We are limited we are limited by our stuff Man, it's hard for new streamers <laughs> Close the dumb bottle, will you? The bottle wouldn't close. Oh no. Oh, the chat stopped working. Okay, you have permission to whisper me. <laughs> the chat has stopped working. The last message I see is the one about you talking about a scythe. Saying, saying like that it's almost a scythe. And I know that, th and I know that more messages have come true since then. I'm gonna try the like cheat tactic for. Hi, hi, cool. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. I would have never expected to see you here. It would be cool if you went in the glyph I labeled weird boss push like at the end of the video. Um, not at the moment. <laughs> Is there gonna need two bosses that work? And uh, I'll go in like I'll go in there eventually. I don't want to do much chalice stuff at the moment. Chalice, I've I I got like burnt out of chalices for a while. That's why I moved on to DLC. So when I go back to challenge ch challenges, chalices. When I finish them, I will then probably do some custom chalice stuff. Because like, because like custom chalice stuff is cool. I like them. Like a lot. Uh, let me actually do burial blade. 
I would do church pick, but you know. Three passive invincible amygdala. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's that's not nice. That's not fun. Yeah, I know that's very weird. <laughs> that that is that that is extremely weird. Oh, I n I never went in back after I activated that lamp. It's just called coast. Not. Not cause coast. Just 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 coast. That's eerie. That's eerie because it's so normal in this game. Check out the website. I linked more in the whispers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking of getting a new mic soon. I can't wait. I found a bunch of test challenges. I mean, I look them up and see if they would be worth me streaming. Because, like, some some of them could just be boring. And, like, I don't want to sit through boring stuff. And I know you guys don't want to either. Wait, ooh, that sounds interesting. There's no use boss arena for the coast. Ooh! Is that in a chalice? By any chance? Because that sounds interesting. I'd 100% play that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put on sedatives. I didn't think I had to go through these to, to do this, but I must. To boss previous students on East Coast, like that's cool. Yeah, that uh, that would be cool to mess around with. Okay. Whew. Bye. Gotta go check it out. Seriously. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye, cool. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed while you were here. I have to think my strategy here now.
Because it can't just be run straight in and hope to do it. That's not going to work. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, 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 the Raikuyo. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. Okay, okay, I did it. Now, the Raikuyo is this weapon. It's like a cool double edged blade. And then you change it into two swords one like a little dagger, and then one a long sword. You just slice, slash, and like just dice through enemies. It's very fast hitting. By the way, this bone, the hunter's bone, it's a god save. You basically dodge a lot faster and everything. And 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 it's like very hard to be hit while using it. Whew, okay. Um uh now I don't know what to do till the end of the stream. Um I suppose I could try the chalice, because, like, it's all I'd love to do, I think. I think. Oh, I genuinely don't know, though. Um... I mean, after the DLC, I was going to just move on and just do the New Game Plus and again and again and again and again and again, like that, but like, uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> should I do that? Is that good? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? You know what? I should. I will. I will. Sure, why the hell not? I'm allowed to do it. It's my stream. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Man, I just really hope I have everything done. Because, like, I'm so scared that I don't. And I'm going to have to go back and get it somehow. I have the lock shield, I know that. I have... Ah! See, I didn't have everything. I didn't have Maria's set. Yeah, she has a set of armor in the shop that you buy after you defeat her. Okay, that's done then. Once again, I have everything done. Uh, Hunchback's Burl Blade, Church Pick, La Wigs, White of Palace, Rakuyo, Stake Driver, Boom Hammer, Water Geek, Tanitra's Lagir. Do I have the Lagirious Wheel? I do. I'll just make sure I have everything before I move on. Lagirious Wheel, I'm a Dan Lamb, Cause Paris, I Blood Letter. Uh, I do have these. Um, okay, everyone. That will be everything, actually. This is nowhere near the end of my Bloodborne uh, adventures. Uh, there's going to be a lot more Bloodborne on the channel because I want to do specific runs with specific weapons. I want to do other cool things. So, like, don't expect this to be the last episode at all. Though, I did complete the DLC, which is, like, very fun. Ow. See, the moon presence isn't super hard. It's just when when it hits you, it'll hit you a few times. It won't just hit you once, like. As it just did hitting me only once.
Yeah, that is, a, that is an attack that puts you to zero HP. Which isn't that bad, because you're usually far enough away to just heal. But, um... What is bad is that she has another attack which can prevent you from healing. Whereas if she does that attack and then puts you to no health, then we have a, bit of a little, little bit of a problem on our hands. And everyone, that was the first, that, that was the true ending of Bloodborne. The quote unquote good ending. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Here we go everyone, we've just entered New Game Plus 2. I skipped that and credits cause just just in case there's a song. Um That's the quote unquote good ending. We turned into like the moon presence's heir to the moon, I guess. <laughs> I guess I don't really understand what we we turned into a slot we turned into a great one. Basically. There we go, all signed and sailed. All signed and sealed. <laughs> okay, and you wake up with everything you've had before. All the upgrades, all the... All the runes, all the weapons, all the everything. Like, literally, I have everything. Okay, actually, I don't have everything. You do not wake up with your keys to the different doors of the game, so you can't just skip shit. You have to play through the game as if you were usually playing it. Uh, yeah, actually. I wanted to do this online, like, in the online version of the game. Can I do that from here? Or do I have to exit the game and then do it? Online ID. Ah, shit. Will this end the stream if I do this? Okay, there's one way to find out. If it does, I'll be back. I'll, I will be back for a 15-minute stream, but if it doesn't, good. Okay, maybe by... Don't end the stream, please. Don't end it, please. Don't, please. Don't, please. Don't end it. Please, please, please. Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> it's still taken up for me. It is still. Uh, I have not. I have not had to do that in forever. Continue. Registering data with Bloodborne server. I've never done this. I've never gone online before. In well, in this save. But it's still live, yes? I'm still alive. I'm still good. It's still good. Okay then. So now I might get people invading my world to either help or to kill me. Which I don't know if I'm happy about. That can also happen quite a lot. Never mind, I'm not doing online. I forgot that happens. <laughs> I guess we will just do it normally. That, no, okay, it doesn't happen a lot, but like, it like it's weird that it happens to me. That's happened like once to me, but I've heard that it happens a lot. I'll just continue, I don't care. Okay. I'm gonna be like semi speed running the game. Like I wanna pick up some things if I know what's there, I'm gonna pick it up. Like if I know ah, this is a bloodstone chunk, I'm gonna pick that up, like it's a good item. But like I'm not gonna be going to Castle Canehurst, that's completely optional. I'm not gonna be going to Um Hemrick Channel Lane. It's completely optional. Not gonna be going to um I don't know where else is completely optional, but I'm not gonna be doing literally everything. 
I'm gonna be doing what I need to and then moving on to the next new game plus. Cause that'll be fun. I'm not gonna be fighting hidden bosses like I'm not gonna be fighting cleric beast on the bridge. Uh, so I'm basically going straight to Gascoigne. Basically. I'm gonna grab checkpoints because unfortunate things can happen. You can die without like meaning to. Which is quite a oft occurrence in this game. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 good practice just to do that and go off and fight the guy. Go off, get a couple of checkpoints, and you're set. How did I take fall damage from that? What? Whatever. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. Hope you're having a fine day this after hunt afternoon. Yeah, you'll notice it's like barely night when you start the game. And like, it progr I expected that to do a lot more damage. And it progressively like gets just worse and worse as you go throughout the game. Which I like, it, it like it represents a change in time compared to like most games that's just like Ah, you play during this and then that happens, you know? Not a lot of games have a re like, have a clear like time advancement or time uh, on advancement, I guess? If, 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 if a game goes back in time, would that be like a time on advancement? Is that what you'd say? I don't know what you'd say for that, actually. Would you even say that? Would that come up? I have no clue. By the way, off camera, I'm not going to be afraid to play a little bit ahead just to get my farming area if I haven't gotten to there. And as you know, my farming area is the lecture building, which I believe is most players' farming areas, cause just because how fast you can get the guys in there killed and like just the amount they give you especially at new game plus six is like really worth it to do that so yeah uh, if if in a video i haven't gotten to the farming area yet i'm going to take time off screen to get to the farming area because i don't want to bore you guys with that aspect of this game, just like redoing the thing, getting into the farming area. Well, like, I'm, it's not it's not, it's not like I'm gonna bore you. It's a fun game. It was like, no, ma like, no matter how many times I've played through this game, I've done something different. Something, something has gone differently. Like, I've never defeated the sharks before until this save. I've never defeated those two sharks in the well. Yeah, the second is a lot easier than I thought it was. I thought they were both hard ones. The first one was a hard one, the second one was the easy one. And by a hard one, I mean like some enemies are harder to defeat than others. They're like a strong enemy in that area. That's what I mean. Why did I do the pig? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to go the pig's way. I meant to. Will I die? Um. Hmm. I didn't plan this well. I meant to grab a couple of more items before I came here. This isn't good. You know, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll be okay. It's only Gascoigne. It's not like he's the hardest boss in the game when you come into him. What? Not at all. No. Never. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to go fine. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. Enough to make a man sick. What? <laughs>
There you go. That was close. That was close at the end, actually. What the hell? Oh, God. Phew. That was close. Hmm. <clears throat> I lost my breath there a little there. I was like, I was a bit worried I was gonna die, but like at the same time I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, I do pick up the red jewel brooch just cause it's a cool item to grab. Um, You can, you can actually re-get the blood gemstone from it by the way. And, uh, and like it will let you put two of that gemstone onto a weapon. Look like uh, this one. It'll let you put two of that onto a weapon, which is pretty cool. That the fact that they do that, but like, there's no point. It's a bad gemstone. I suppose if you are doing a specific run that like requires that, I suppose will be useful. But like, I can't think of a run off the top of my head that would require that. Is the thing. Um. Okay. By the way, what I'm doing, um, I'm going to unlock. So that was the true ending of the game. There is technically three endings. One is you take Gearman's offer and transcend the hunt. Which is basically him killing you as a sacrifice to Moon Presence and you just wake up in the day. Which I think is the better ending. I don't know why like people don't like that ending. It seems like the best ending to me personally. But you know, you like you do, you do you, you do you. Um. And another one is you you kill Gearman, and that's it. You see, you 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 guys might be thinking, but if you kill Gearman, you summon the Moon Presence. No, if you kill Gearman and have used the umbilical cords you summon the moon presence but if you just kill Gearman without using any of the umbilical cords you don't summon moon presence at all yeah um you'll notice all of maria's guest coins bowman madman stuff's back in the shop to buy uh once again all the armor here is back to buy again even Gearman's set which is quite funny to me he doesn't actually have gloves with his set which is weird uh, you can get the new weapon, you can get a new weapon at the start of the game. It's, sorry, it's not a new weapon. These haven't been reset. These don't reset. They're completely non-reset. This has been reset. Um, yeah, so basically. That's all the really changes, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, this, is, th th this is what the bat looks like full. I think this is all that you can get. Uh, I think... I genuinely don't know. Uh, oh, you can buy five virtual blood now. Cool, that's cool. Uh, I genuinely think that's all you can get in the bath. I'm not sure if I'm missing one. I don't think I am. I hope I'm not. Because that would mean I missed something in my first playthrough. Which I didn't want to do. Yeah, but I think I covered everything in my first playthrough. Besides the chalice. Besides the, besides the last two chalices I covered. By last two, I mean like the last chalice and a half. I have half of the chalice I'm currently on left. And then I have another chalice left, which is a cool one. Uh, the next chalice is actually the final chalice. It has a cool boss at the end. But I'm not ashamed of skipping it at the moment. Because if you do skip it at the moment... Uh, you can get more blood echoes from enemies here now. And then... Which means you can level up faster. Uh, but you see, chalices don't... Uh, by the way, that Hunter Chief Emblem I bought, I didn't do it like this in the main game. Uh, that raises the gate if you bring it here. Um. Oh, that was close. Working on my route in my head as I'm running. Da, 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 da. Working on my route in my head as I'm running. Not a good plan in this game. Oh, I hate doing that. 
That run is always my least favourite. Because I always get hit a lot during it. But otherwise this area is pretty okay. I'm basically showing you how I speedrun the game. There's tons of different ways to speedrun this game, but this is how I do it. I like to play really safe when I speedrun this ga game. So like, you know. I'm gonna be unlocking the shortcuts. Wow, doggo. Bad doggo. Okay. Run up past these guys. Don't nudge me. Don't point. Don't you point at me, rude. What are those? Are they crosses? I don't think so. Oh, wait, they're like the symbol ladder my blood echoes. Close to it, at least. Yeah, but wait, these are Migdolo statues. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, Vicar Amelia, which is this boss here, is actually one of my bigger roadblocks whenever I redo this game. So I'm going to actually have to take my time with her. Because she's like my biggest roadblock whenever I redo this game. I always get stopped at her. Okay, apparently her foot hurts me now. That one's a strong attack to watch out for. You don't want to get caught by that if you can avoid it. The one, the, uh, the one where she slammed the boat of her hands down and put a gust of wind out. That hurts a lot. I'm getting a lot of good uh, weak point breaks on her. Most bosses, if you hit their, like, legs and arms, they'll have a weak point there. And then if you attack with, like, a heavy attack, it'll do, like, don't, like, it'll stop them from attacking for, mo like, momentarily. And you'll have a bit of an opening to attack them. Okay, that was a very good Vicar Amelia. Nice. Uh, wait here for the lamp. Got the gold pendant. Got the lamp. Uh, you need to come up here and look at this. You you do not have the code in your mind still to unlock the gate. You have to come and look at this. I made that mistake the first time playing New Game Plus. I thought I could just run straight to the gate. You cannot. You need to go up kill Vikramina and get the code. <laughs> uh, I say, okay, I say code, but like, get the memory. Okay, I'm basically at my farming area, actually. Yeah, I won't get to it in this stream, but, like, I'm gonna get to it off-camera. I'm probably gonna, uh, my brother's probably gonna farm for me a bit. And all that nice stuff. Yeah, but you'll, you'll notice I'm gonna get through the game a lot faster now. Because there's a lot of time just collecting stuff and completing areas that's wasted. When you play this game. Like, I think the speedrun of this game is like 23 minutes. I think. I'm not, okay, I'm not sure. But like, that sounds about right. 23 minutes. Yeah. It would be around there at least. It might, it mightn't be exactly that long, but it would, be, it would definitely be close. Password is Fear the Old Blood. You're still dead. Get Mammoth's knowledge from you. Drop down here. You take a good bit of damage, actually. Oh, yeah. Another fun thing about that beast sort of transformation when you turned into the beast with the rune equipped 
and a beast claw uh, weapon, uh, you will not take any fall damage unless the amount of fall damage will kill you. So, like, the fall damage there from jumping down the stairwell, that wouldn't have killed me, so I wouldn't have taken any of that fall damage. Whereas, the damage from falling from the top of that stairwell in the, like, uh, laboratory area of the DLC, the research hall, w killed me, so I would have taken that fall damage. Uh, you know, I'll grab this just for safe measures in case I do want to go into the DLC. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the item you need to get into DLC. It unlocks after Vicar Amelia. Uh, you get grabbed by the amygdala and you get brought to DLC. Okay, everybody. That was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. For some more Bloodborne, probably. I forgot uh, Gearman's there now. Bye-bye, everybody.